Hey there guys, today we're going to try out try me and Jacob the boss. So we're going to try out how can we get the root shell from the initial foothold. See how can we exploit our way into it. So I performed a port scan for it already. So this is the result. We have found port 22, port 80, which is a HTTP port. Okay, so it's running as Apache server over here. The world, the OS version is San OS over here. Okay, we'll try and check out the port 80 first. The IP for it will be this one. Welcome to not clear. Okay, we found the user and check out the boss. One command, but it shows that the domain name is not for. We want we want to edit our local DNS, which is the etc host. Go here, paste this one first. And then we're gonna get the IP for it. This is the IP. Okay, paste this one. That. Okay, refresh it. Okay, this one is running as a dot clear CMS over here. So try and check out the admin page. Okay, so this is the place that we can access into the dot clear CMS management admin management page. Try check out like default credential. Is there any admin admin for it? No, it seems that that's not the correct path. Okay, so there seems any much anything much over here because we can't find the credential, right? Okay, so now we we'll check another port. RPC buying, nothing interesting over here. My SQL. Normally, my SQL won't be open right remotely, right? So this one, it open remotely. We'll try to check it out. Can we access it now? Okay, the IP for it. Let's get out. Check out the boss. Boss. Okay. Try to access the root without password. No, you don't have that privilege to access it. Okay, then it's, it seems like it's not the correct path to. Okay, not interesting. Eight zero zero nine. Apache JSERF Okay Found another one Quite interesting over here Port 8080 Which is a HTTP port too And It running as Apache Tomcat over here Try and check it out Check out the boss 8080 Oh Okay So it seems like it's running a JBoss over here JBoss You can see we can access the JMX console or not Okay we can access it it does ask us for any authentication or what. Try to check out is there any JBoss exploitation. Or? Okay, seems like there's one over here. GitHub page. Hmm. So yeah, Jack's boss. Exploitation tool for JBoss over here. Seems like we can use this one to exploit it. Validation vector on uh, admin console, GMX console. Just now we can access the GMX console, right? So this one will be working for JBoss version 4, 5, and 6. Okay. So at the same time, we can use this one to exploit it. Go back here. Download the tools. Let me download tools first. Okay, after cloning the repo, we go to chess boss. Okay, so use Python 3 text boss. Okay, URL for it will be HTTP. What? What's the name already? Jacob the boss. Okay. Okay, we'll try and check out. Seems like three things over here is vulnerable. The JMX console, web console, and JMX invoker servlet. We have a permission to access it. Try and check out. Can we send the exploit code successfully or not to there? Okay, seems like we successfully deploy the code. Starting the command shell. Seems like this is the intentional part, right? Okay, voila. It seems like we got our initial foothold. So now we need to escape from this restricted shell. 
we can launch uh, this one. Uh, reverse shell here. And then voila, we got our initial full hole here. And we escape from the restriction restricted shell. Okay, so now we go to our home directory, the Jacob user directory, and we found our user flag. We can read it. So we we'll try to check out is there any pseudo privilege or not? For our case, we don't have Jacob user password, so it doesn't seem like the correct pathway. Okay, so we we'll try to find is there any SUID bit that we can exploit now. several tools over here that have SUID bit set for the user pink sys okay. other than pink sys the other binary then seems quite interesting try to check out the pink sys first pink sys help ok seems like it use it as a ping command over here it use the ping binary to ping but it combine everything else into being sys this this binary. Try and check out. Okay, let's execute the command ping. Okay, let's check out who's the user for it. What do user and have a SUID bit set? Interesting. Let's see if can we can exploit it or not. Try and check out the string first. Okay. We import a libc over here, set uid, set to zero because you want to access as a root, right? Execute as a root, execute as a system command over here. And then this is the command ping. This now which shows that it ping four times only, right? So this is a part over here. Count four. And then this is the IP of it. So ping. If you can notice this that normally if you want to execute like ping right to prevent from getting exploited for one second right? the path right by exploitation right you need to put something like this like this you need to put a full path for the ping command but in this case this one it just put a ping over here which means that it doesn't specify the full path, right? Okay, we can try to exploit the path arrival. This path arrival. We create our own ping binary and exploit it. So how can we do that? First, create our ping binary first. This one I put because we know that this ping sys command right, will be executed as a root user <coughs> and it will send the uid into zero which is a root user uid <coughs> okay so now we create our own uh, ping binary right with the command executing the bin bash and preserve our privileges we give it an executable bit already right so now we need to export the path Okay, this one will be the current path where you can install the pink binary and then follow up will be the half driver, the panel. Now we execute the ping sys command normally. Okay. And voila, do you guys notice that? We just escalate our privileges to the root. And our UID is root. So we can go to the root directory and capture our root flag. Voila. That's how we can own Jacob the Boss this machine. So that's all for our video. Thanks guys. Bye bye.